Hey guys, Brendan here with Exotic Diecast, bringing you guys the long-awaited review on this True Scale Miniatures uh, 118 scale McLaren P1 GTR. This is in the Pebble uh, Beach uh, debut uh, livery. Uh, so I got this car a while ago, and I just kind of been pushing off the review, kind of been busy, but finally have some time on my hands. Uh, so I figured we just go right on into it. Uh, first off, probably some of the most important stuff. You can get this right now uh, in the link in the description from Exotic Diecast Auto. A uh, buddy of mine over there, he uh, he's the one who sold me this one. You can get it for two hundred eleven dollars, and uh, and if you can get one, I say get it because they're already kind of being marked up on eBay. You could buy it for two hundred eleven dollars. I'm seeing some for two thirty five, sometimes even more on eBay right now, um, and they are limited. So if you flip it uh, to the bottom there, I don't know if there's a plaque or anything like that. Uh, I don't think it actually says on this one. Sometimes on their on their cars it does, but they are limited to one thousand units. Uh, I'm trying to reposition that, but yeah, they are limited to 1,000 units, um, and I think this actually came with something to tell me what number it was, I just don't know where I put that, but a little card or something like that, you can watch my unboxing video, uh, and it tells you the, the number it is of how many cars were made, which is 1,000. Anyway, they make this in a couple different colors, you could just check the link in the description, this is obviously the Pebble Beach, there's also like, whatever it's called, the yellow and green, there's the blue and, and orange, or whatever, um, I forgot all the different colors, but... This one's my favorite, personally. There's also a black one, now that I remember. But anyway, uh, right off the bat, no opening parts, which I know are, that's kind of important to some people. Not really important to me, I just kind of like a pretty display just to, to put up and, and not really touch. I'm not really someone who opens them all the time. Uh, so yeah, nothing opens like I said. In fact, you can't even see through this little windscreen, it's just a black plastic thing. Uh, so, but then again, this isn't really made to like be touching and holding too much. You just kind of display it and just keep it looking pretty because it is a gorgeous, gorgeous model. I mean, the close-ups, hopefully that will do it some justice. Um, I mean, I'll just kind of describe the detail starting from the front. Uh, you can see like the sticker number here, 01. All the, all the paint and stickers or whatever are nicely placed, looks great. Uh, detail in the headlights look very, very nice. You can see like some kind of like holes in there very realistic. These little fins right here that kind of come up like the real P1 and P1 GTR, they look great. It says McLaren P1 GTR right on the side as well. So that's for the front. Not too much going on. The side, uh, again, so nothing moving. Not even the steering will move. But uh, for the uh, the tires, they f do feel like they're made of like real rubber and they kind of stick really, really uh, well. Nothing rotates though, as you can see. It's just a fixed, as it sits, kind of model. Um, very realistic and the uh, the brake disc how they're not ported holes or, or slit or anything like that it's just the, the solid brake disc very shiny i'll get some close-ups of that for sure uh yeah the wheels are just really good looking you can see pirelli very clear on the uh, on the tires as well you can see the british flag all the sponsors here uh just very very nice looking all the decals the stickers everything's really nice this little intake here also the snorkel uh very very nice um, says uh, Chris Goodwin on the side here with the little British flag. That's really really nice detail. I really like that. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's it for the side. You have like the tag, Pirelli, Mobile One, SAP, all that kind of like all the advertisements there. Look really really good. Uh, back end looks really great too. You see all these diffuser pieces here. Some little mechanics here. The the black kind of chrome exhaust. Uh, really really nice. The big wing. Uh, the way it's attached and everything. Really, really good looking how you can like see like, the tires through the back. Sorry if it's not in, the, in frame. There we go. Uh, yeah, I definitely have to get close up to that because that is really, really good looking. Uh, then, as you can see here, TSM model uh, scale miniatures. That's all it says on the bottom with the diffuser pieces here. Um, but yeah, I don't really know if I'm uh, missing out on anything. I think just the pretty close ups to finish it off uh, to give you guys an idea. I don't know how close they are to being sold out on these things. Like I said, a thousand made for two hundred ten, just a little over uh, two hundred eleven dollars. They have black, they have this, they have the yellow and green. I forgot what other colors, but you guys just check the link in the description to uh, to see what else they have. And that's pretty much it for the P1 GTR. Um, I will bring you guys a review on. Let me just grab it real quick. This GT40 Mark II. If you just saw my last unboxing, um, I will have a review on that uh, next. But uh, not just that, I have other plans on cars I want to buy, but I haven't bought yet. Um, but yeah, I, I'll probably come down to a couple of cars I want, and then ask you guys which ones I should get, kind of get some more viewer involvement. That'd be kind of fun. But anyway, that wraps it up for this. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and have a great day.